Hey everybody, it's Brian. And today I wanna to show you how you can record a simple instructional video using uh, your desktop to record through a Google Meet and your iPad as a participant in that meeting. Now, this is more than just a good morning video or a welcome back video. This is going to be an actual instructional video. So you're going to teach something. And remember, we wanna keep these short, three, four minutes tops. If you're sharing through Seesaw, no more than five minutes. And that's a good thing because we can chunk our content. You can record several videos that walk students through a process. It doesn't have to be one mega video and then put it on several pages within a Seesaw activity for students to walk through. If you're in Canvas, same kind of thing. You can have an assignment that leads to another thing that leads to another thing, and you can break these videos up into smaller pieces. Now I'm in Google Meet right now. I can record. I'm in a meeting that I haven't shared the link to for anybody, so no students are gonna join me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to join on my iPad. Now I can't show you my iPad screen yet, so I'm gonna grab uh, a second recording and I'll kind of overlay what I'm tapping on. But I've opened up the Google Meet app on my iPad. I'm going to click on join a meeting and then enter my meeting code. I'm going to mute my microphone because I don't want to get some feedback. And before I join, I'm gonna tap on share screen. And on my iPad, I now have a share screen option and I'm going to start my broadcast and it's going to give me a countdown. And on my laptop where I'm recording, you're gonna see my iPad screen. So if I'm a teacher, I'm gonna join this. I might start the recording at this point rather than all that lead in. And now I can open up a Jamboard and I can get into whatever teaching activity I want. So I can use some of these pre-recorded slides or these setup slides and I can add things and I can use my annotation tools. We actually have another video on this. I use screen on how to use Jamboard collaboratively with students. But you can see I'm teaching from my iPad. I'm using just my hands to draw on the slides to do whatever I need to do. Um, and I can go, I could use Google Slides. I could use a keynote presentation. I could annotate a document using PDF Viewer or Pages. The, it really doesn't matter what you do. The gist of it is that this is now my whiteboard. Sharing my screen from my iPad to the Meet allows me to record it while students can hear me at the same time. And the benefit of this is that when we're in an emergency hybrid situation, or excuse me, an emergency remote situation, or if we go fully remote, getting instructional videos out to students is one way we can help them access our content without calling in all at the same time. You can build up a library of videos to use for remediation. You can use them to, uh, to address needs as they come up. You can use them to start an activity and then follow the station rotation breakout model that we posted on the blog a little while ago. There's a lot of ways that videos freeze up what you're trying to do in your classroom. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have questions, you can leave a comment on the video itself. We'll also have a blog post written up. Uh, stay safe and stay in touch.